A year ago, Subaru redesigned its four-star crossover SUV, adding sharper styling, a roomier and nicer looking interior, and enhanced fuel economy. The 2015 Subaru Forester is essentially unchanged, but that's not an issue as this is still one of the better choices for a small crossover this year. So let's go ahead and check out this 2015 Subaru Forester. Now as far as styling goes on this Forester XT, I quite like it a lot. You have these pretty nice looking LED daytime running lights and the overall presence of the vehicle is pretty sporty which is not really found in the small crossover SUV class. And then you also do have these pretty unique looking 18 inch wheels. So it's definitely very welcome that the Forester has a very sporting nature in this segment which is pretty full of boring vanilla vehicles. Now essentially the 2015 Forester receives minor feature changes including a standard rear view camera on all models and larger 18 inch wheels for the 2.5i touring trim. Now here goes the key fob for the Forester. You have your lock unlock to release your trunk and then your panic button. Pretty basic looking key fob overall. Now it is a ice silver metallic exterior color with a black leather interior. Power driver seat adjustments with power recline and power lumbar too. Now stepping on inside of the Forester here, you're greeted with a very simple and functional interior layout. And I think that's what many Subaru lovers love about the Forester here. And it's really open and airy feeling too. Now you do have push button ignition, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you were hearing was the optional 2 liter 4 cylinder turbo that we have here. Now you do have a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Pretty decent grip to it. Coming to your transmission, you have a Lineartronic CVT automatic transmission with manual shiftability via the paddle shifters. Putting the vehicle into reverse displays your standard rear view camera with guidance lines. Pretty small however, I wish they would have a much larger touch screen that it displayed on. And let's go ahead and turn on the lights and the fogs and the hazards too. Automatic driver's side window. And let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. High intensity discharge headlights which comes on this XT trim we have here. And then you have your halogen fog lights and then your LED accenting lights. Now let's get to the real news here. Under the hood you have a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder. It's a flat 4 producing 250 horses at 5600 RPM and 258 pound feet of torque at 2000 RPM. Now at least Subaru gives you an optional powertrain which many competitors in the compact crossover SUV class don't. Now EPA estimates are rated at 23 in the city and 28 on the highway, running on premium unleaded fuel. Now if fuel efficiency is a top priority for you in a vehicle, this might not be the best powertrain for you. But Subaru does have the base powertrain which is a 2.5 liter 4 cylinder. Now competitors of the Forester, you have the Honda CRV, Ford Escape, Toyota RAV4, Chevrolet Equinox and the Nissan Rogue. And the Forester has been catching up in sales quite a bit the last few years. Now pricing of the Forester starts at the base trim which starts at 
$22,195. Then you have the premium, which starts at $24,595. And then the limited starts at $28,095. And then the touring starts at $30,095. And then finally, the XT touring starts at $33,095. Now this particular Forester costs $34,786. Like I said, EPA estimates are 23 in the city and 28 on the highway. Of course, you have all of your basic power necessities, power windows, door locks, power exterior mirrors, chrome interior door handles. Armrest is nice and soft to the touch and on the mid door panel. Upper door panel is hard to touch, however. And let's go ahead and rev it up. Now as far as build quality and materials go inside of the Forester here, it's average for the class. You have decent materials on the mid door panel, armrest is also nice soft touch with nice stitching. Upper door panel however is hard touch plastic. And then on the armrest it's also nice and soft to the touch. And then up here on the dashboard, also a decent padded material as well as up here. But what really bothers me about this interior is that it's really lacking a little bit of pizzazz. Now some of its competitors like the Ford Escape as well as even the Honda CRV look a little more richer inside of their cabins and for 34 grand I expect a little bit more pizzazz inside of the interior and a little bit more luxury. But it's a really functional kind of car and it's a very functional interior so makes sense. Now coming to the main center stack controls here you have your dual zone automatic climate control your temperatures are right here AC controls pretty easy to figure out very big knobs and buttons I love that about the Forester. Coming down here you have a little storage compartment down there and then you also do have a 12 volt power outlet right there you also do have your heated seats, two staged, high and low. Coming down here you have your cup holders, e-brake is right here. And then down in the center console there's an okay amount of storage but it's not the best. You have an auxiliary input and a USB port and another 12 volt power outlet. Up there you have a garage home link and an auto dimming rear view mirror. And then you have a sunglass container right there interior illumination lighting and then your sunroof pretty large sunroof I have to say for not being a dual moonroof I don't think I've ever seen a single sunroof this big or for not even being a panoramic sunroof I don't think I've ever seen a moonroof quite as large as that now as far as visibility goes out of the Forester that's one of its Strengths is it has superb visibility lots of glass area all around the mirrors show quite a lot and the outward visibility is pretty good too and I think that's one of the key reasons why this thing sells so well is it has very great user friendliness ease of ingress and ingress and then the visibility is just excellent and then seeing out of the Forester in the rear is pretty easy too lots of glass area Now on top of the great visibility, one of the key selling points for the Forester is their symmetrical all-wheel drive system. 
and it's one of the best all-wheel drive systems on the market and Subaru is known for making really great all-wheel drive systems now as far as the seats go in the Forester they're fairly comfortable overall there's not a whole lot of side bolstering or anything of that nature a lot of vehicles have a lot of side bolstering but not in the Forester thigh support is really good but overall the seats are fairly comfortable and I could find a pretty good decent driving position now coming to this steering wheel design I'm not really a big fan of it I think the buttons are just clutter looking on it and then also it's pretty outdated looking too but coming over here you have your steering wheel mounted audio controls volume and then your voice recognition Bluetooth hands free calling these buttons down here control your little information center which I will get to in just a second Going right over there, you have your cruise control buttons and then your SI drive buttons right there. Intermittent windshield wipers, of course. And then you also do have a manually tilting and telescoping steering wheel. Decent range of adjustment there. Now, coming to the gauges, I also do like the gauges. I like the font around them and then the white illumination, too. However, I would have expected red since a lot of the buttons are illuminated in red. I would have expected red gauges, and I think that would have really matched the sporting nature of this vehicle but it's just a minor gripe and then that little center screen right there has your fuel gauge and then your trip odometer on it and then what gear you're in now coming to the main stereo system here very basic looking head unit here it kinda takes me back to the mid 2000s and I'm really surprised that at this price level that Subaru didn't include a infotainment touchscreen pretty surprised about that but you do have your AM FM CD player auxiliary and then your XM satellite radio and then your HD tagging and then your presets are located right here and then your seek and track button but hey it gets the job done very easy to use Now coming to that little center screen right there, that's going to show you a various amounts of vehicle information. You have your average fuel economy data, your digital clock up there, and then your exterior temperature readout. Then you have a little graph, as you can see. And then your fuel range, and your average fuel economy. And then what radio station you're on, and then just an overall view of like what time it is and then your exterior temperature readout and your average fuel economy now like I said all of that is controlled by these set of buttons right here now coming down there you have your traction control off button your power tailgate and then your memory height for your power tailgate and then your gauge brightness Now coming down there you have a driver selectable X mode they like to call it and that maximizes traction in the dirt. You just press this button right here and then it displays up there and then also in that little screen right there as well. But you can turn it off if you like. Now the base 2.5 liter 4 cylinder definitely won't set any speed records with its 170 horses and although the CVT performs well for the breed it still lacks the responsiveness of a good conventional automatic. Still this powertrain's impressive fuel economy gives it an edge over most rivals. Now the 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder we have here delivers some of the quickest acceleration times found in this class. In normal use, the Forester serves up a very comfortable ride with either the 17-inch or 18-inch wheels. And the width and road noise is pretty good in the Forester here. And the handling is pretty stable and composed. Alright, and let's go ahead and shut down the Forester. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle, including the cargo capacity, as well as the rear seat leg space. Now cargo capacity is decent in the Forester and to fold the rear seats down very easy to do. Easy as that. Just flip the switch. Then you also do have a 12 volt power outlet 
right there as well. Power tailgate. Now build quality and materials do follow through in the rear here. Still nice soft touch armrests and mid door panel and chrome interior door handles. And you do have rear adjustable headrests. Now sitting back here there's lots of leg room, lots of headroom, very spacious back here. And there are some vehicles in this class that do have pretty bad thigh support in the rear seats. But the rear seats for the Forester are extremely comfortable. And it's very spacious feeling, great for families. We also do have a rear center armrest with cup holders. And you also do have dual map pockets. But the seats are just very comfortable, nice and supportive. And thigh support is excellent. And the leather is really nice and soft and buttery, kind of like a Lexus. Alrighty. Full manual passenger seat. Glove box compartment. Decently damp. Alrighty. So with decent fuel economy, a spacious cabin, and a turbocharged engine available, it makes the 2015 Subaru Forester a very solid pick for a small crossover SUV. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.